Good morning children. Today we shall do a topic in English composition. Our topic for today is flow chart. A flow chart is a visual representation of a process or steps involved in an action. For example, the actions involved could be the process or steps involved in cooking a recipe or the actions involved could be those of making a craft or any other work. The flow charts show the steps of the process within boxes and their order of appearance by connecting the boxes with arrows. The most common type of flow chart is the processing step that is denoted as a rectangular box. A flow chart in simple words is a diagram that contains information of the steps of an action. In this diagram, boxes show the process and the steps of an action. The arrows appearing in between of the boxes show the order of the steps taking place. Basically, the order of the steps are from beginning to the end. The arrows show the direction in which the flow chart will go. You will be given some points that will not be arranged in chronological order. So the first step that you will have to follow is to arrange all the points in chronological order. This first step can be done mentally or on a rough paper. Then the second step is to count the number of points given and draw equal number of boxes of the same size. The third step is to put arrows in between the boxes. Now children, putting the arrows is the most important task here as it is the arrows that tells us which steps follow after the other. Then you will fill in the boxes with the correct answers. Now children, this is a specimen that you will have to copy on a file sheet paper or a notebook that you have made. You will refer to it for learning. Alright? So the question of the specimen is, prepare a flow chart by rearranging the following events of history. The first point, the Battle of Plassey. June 23, 1757. Second, the Fourth Anglo Mysore War, April 5, 1799. Third, the Battle of Kanwa, March 16, 1527. Fourth, the Battle of Boxer, October 22, 1764. And fifth, the Third Battle of Panipat. January 14, 1761. Now children, you can see that all these events are not arranged in order. So the first thing we will do is to arrange them in rough. You can do this with a pencil. We will begin with the events that took place first among those given here. So the first event is the third one, the Battle of Kanwa. This event took place on March 16, 1527. We will tag this event with number 1. See children, this is only the rough work that I am doing. The second event is the first one, the Battle of Plassey. This event took place on June 23, 17. 57. The third event is the fifth one, 
the third battle of panipat this event took place on january 14 1761 the fourth event is the fourth one the battle of boxer this event took place on october 22 1764 and the last the fifth event is the second one the fourth anglo mysore war that took place on 5th april 1799 okay so here we have arranged our events in order so now we will put these events in the boxes we will put the first point in the first box that is the battle of khanwa march 16 1527 after this we draw an arrow that will indicate the next event draw a box and write down the second event that is the battle of plassey june 23 1757 then we will draw an arrow downward to show the direction of the flow of the next event then in the box you will write the third event that is the third battle of panipat january 14 1761 again you will draw an arrow like this to show the direction of the next point then write down the fourth point the battle of boxer october 22nd 1764 put the arrow and finally write the last point the fourth anglo mysore war april 5 1799 at this stage we do not put any further arrows or boxes because we do not have more points so in this way we have prepared our flow chart now you will complete the following exercise in your english composition book you will put today's date that is 9th september 2020 kindly fill your index properly everything that you write in your english composition book must be done on the right side of your page only now the question is with the help of the given points prepare a flow chart according to its occurrence the first point dick whittington was homeless cold and hungry second dick left his village on foot and left for london the third he bought a cat to get rid of the mice the fourth a carter gave dick a lift to london and fifth mr fitzwarren provided shelter to dick these events are from the second lesson of your english textbook dick quittington and his cat in case if you are confused about the events then kindly read the lesson and then try and solve it okay with this we have completed the topic on flow chart thank you and take care